Hello, everybody. I'm Stéphane Ouillon. I'm a student at the Lacan Society, which is an engineering school in France. And last year for my project, I've been working of, on uh, a net OSL CCM Perl module that was developed for the back trouser simple defect. So first, I will uh, tell you a bit about simple defect very quickly. Then I will show you how you can use the Perl OSLC module. And I will do a quick overview about the module internals. And I'll finish by a quick demo if we have time. So with traditional back trackers, if you want to browse through your back tickets, you will have a web browser interface. But what if you want to use uh, your terminal? That's possible with simple defects. Uh, the main idea is that simple defect is a back tracker that you can use in common line. Uh, it's using the profit database. I will come back on it in a few seconds. Uh, simple defect, it's written in Perl. It's free and open source. So the main idea is that simple defect is a peer-to-peer -peer back tracker that you can use offline. Just think about it, it's the same concept. So you have the back tracker server uh, that a uh, remote server, and um, let's say you have a bad back tracker on there. On your local machine, you have simple defects, and you can just clone the remote back tracker database, go offline, work on your tickets, and then when you're, when you're coming back online, you can synchronize your comics, your changes. So that's the main idea beh behind simple defects. It's using the profit database, which is a semi-relational database. Just think about NoSQL, for example. It's peer-to-peer -peer replicated, so it's disconnected, it's versioned, and there is a system uh, of self-healing conflict resolution when you want to synchronize uh, several versions of the tracker database. Um, but the question is, is your remote back tracker is not a simple defect back tracker. That will be the most common case. How do you do? How do you do for a simple defect to be able to, to synchronize? Well, to do that, as the simple defect needs adapters for every kind of back tracker. For example, Redmine, RT, BackDR, and so on. So it means that you will have to write many adapter, adapters. Right now, in simple defects, you have some adapters that have been written. But, for example, I wanted to use simple defects with Bagzilla. Um, how do I do that? So my idea, um, Olivier ideas that was my mentor, was to use OSL CCM. So OSL C net OSL CCM, uh, it's a standard cell module. It's using object-oriented programmation with new. And it, uh, in this first version that is uh, integrated to, allow your, to the Alio release, it will help you implement OSL CCM clients partially. So here is a quick how-to. Um, basically, you just have to instantiate a class that OSL CCM new, and you have to provide three arguments. The URL of the um, back tracker which you want to connect to, and your credentials. So here is the username and the password because it is using uh, HTTP basic authentication. And the next step is just to call the get OSLC resources uh, method, and it will uh, and you get an array of change requests. So here are um, the attributes you will get. So what about the modules I'm using? Uh, first the main interface, net OSL CCM. You can call the main method I've just talked about, get OSLC resources. That will call um, method to create the catalog, get the provider catalog resource, get the service provider's data, and get the chain request. So you can either call the get OSLC resources method that will do, that will do all the, the work for you, or call independently all the following um, methods. For each OSL CCM object, uh, the module creates object. There are, there are classes for each, each OSL CCM object. For the catalog, there are service providers, and I would, and it's, um, 
it gets in memory the main information about each provider uh, catalog and so on. For example, the query base or the result sheet for the service provider. And as for the change request, it will load the, the attributes of the back ticket. Maybe Argo or Please, uh, please forgive me. Any task you think? There are some attributes. Excuse me. If, yeah. if you are not, if you are not on, if you are not speaking, if you can go on mute, that would be great. If your phone does not support that, you can dial star six and the system will mute you. Okay. Sorry, Stephanie. Ah, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, well, so I was talking about the change request class. Um, the attributes corresponding to the attributes of the bad tickets are hard coded at the moment, so that's, that's not very flexible. For example, you can say, as I was developing with a Bagzilla bug tracker, I incorporated some Bagzilla specific uh, attributes like bug components, bug offsets, and so on. So it's an improvement to do to make it more flexible. Uh, to get RDF data, I'm using two CPAN modules, RDF Prime, uh, to browse through the catalog and the service provider's data. Um, it, I'm just performing some Sparkle queries. To browse through the change request attributes, I'm using uh, RDF Wrapper called RDF Helper. That's quite useful, and it allows to treat more data more easily. Uh, as for the connection, I've just told you I was using the connection using HTTP basic authentication. So what about OAuth? Actually, there is a Perl CPAN module implementing OAuth, so it would be a matter of time just to integrate it to the net OSRC CM module. Okay, so I think we have time for a quick demo. If it will work, it should. So what I have is a virtual box with a Debian on it, and I've installed a bug, a bug, a bug tracker. So I, I have several products, several components, and several uh, bug tickets. And I've launched the OSL CCM adapter for Bradzilla. So it should be running our time right now. Um, I'm back on my host machine. And so I'm using SD. What I want to do is to clone the remote Bug structure database, so I do a SD Chrome. I will st specify I'm using the OSL CCM adapter for SD, um, sorry, SD simple defect. And I just provide the URL of my bug tracker. So here we go. So it's asking for my credentials. Okay, so now it fetches the catalog. Is it found or not? Oh, yeah, sorry. My vegetables got offline. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, here again. Oh, sorry, well, thanks to my son. I will just launch a video to go. Okay, so that's what I just, right, I showed you all that. So what it does, it would fetch the catalog first. Uh, if it's found, it will get the service provider's URL, then the change request data, and after that, it would load every bad ticket according to the identifiers. Actually, this phase takes uh, about, I don't know, 50, minutes, 50 seconds. It's a bit slow. And uh, then when it's finished, you just have to, to enter your mail address to when you will have to comment your changes. And if you want to browse 
through the SD tickets, you have a common SD ticket search, and you can, for example, decide to search for the new tickets, and you will have a list, and then if you want to show the metadata of the tickets, you have them. So you have the metadata that are from the that tracker you, that you have cloned, and you have a history. So, um, some information about the the, act, the current state of the Perl module. You can only clone or prove that uh, you can't push at the moment. Uh, just remember, it's the uh, only version of the module. As I said before, the attributes in change requests are hard coded, so it's not very flexible. And the requests are a bit slow. I think it's coming both from RDF and HTTP. So it could be improved, I think. Uh, here are some additional links if you want to read some more. So there is my personal web page about NetOSRCCM. And of course, the website about simple defects, thinkwithat.us, that will provide a lot of information about simple defects and profit database. Thank you for your attention. Well, thank you very much, Stephanie. That was an excellent presentation, and I'm glad to see the video. Uh, the video seemed to come through on the screen as well, so we're in good shape. Are there any questions?